from Drakensang. Okay. Go to the police station over here. Probably a lot of good. Find my ammunition and guns. This way is blocked off. Right so sometimes you get grabbed and then that thing happens. I guess you could call a KT or something. You just have to move your mouse cursor to the center. Stab him in the face. Alright, I guess we have to go from behind. Go back to sleep. Alright, gotta climb the ladder. The ladder's stuck right there. Gotta go through this door right here. Surprisingly, the back door is not locked. I don't think they can grab me from there. They can try and try, but they cannot grab me. It would be, be more interesting if the zombies can actually grab your weapon. Like I'm trying to swing at them and then all of a sudden they either bite on my weapon or grab it. Grab it, snatch it from me and then I have to actually survive now. Use my fists. I have to try to retrieve my weapon back. Locked up. I thought that would be interesting. Her. Got my revolver right here. Nice. Locked. Take him out just in case. Got a rifle right there. Nothing else behind there. Oh, damn. Oh shit! Now, that one really scared me right there. Think about that. Kinda scared me. Not really. Locked. Let's close this door. Barricaded or something. There's no barricade system in this game, unfortunately. So you basically you just go on traveling around, find supplies, stop by, find supplies, and travel on. You never stay in one place. I think that's actually a good idea to not stay in one place. But some other zombie games, you try to survive in one place, like barricade your doors, your windows, and things like that. So in this one, you just keep traveling. Got one bullet left. No more ammunition. Also got the rifle. There we go. Found more. I found a battery right there too. So in case you're playing this game, looking for the batteries, it's in this room right here. The second floor of the police station. Storage. Let's see if I can find any ammunition lying around. Sometimes it's in random locations, like right here, on a desk right there for some reason. I don't know if the revolver uses pistol ammunition or it has his own. Hey, what are you doing here? Who locked you up? All right, let's get that food tray. Basically, well. Trading food for ammunition. Sometimes you meet those random people like that, where you can trade things with them. But you d it doesn't help. It doesn't happen enough in the game, I don't think. There should be an option to just, um, I don't know, try to get in there or something. There should be an option to either bribe him or or intimidate him or something. This is where the Walking Dead Telltale Games uh, version would be more interesting. This version basically just shoot first, ask questions later type. To the face. Then over here. Let's go ahead and get back to the stairs and head over to the third floor. You can check your objectives right here. 
So it is the current map you're on, or the current area, your main objective, and then you have optional objective right here. Just wasted a bullet right there. Kinda gets boring after a while when you're facing the same type of zombies. It gets a little bit more challenging when there's a, a bunch of them. But when you can just hit shot them one time in the face and then they fall down. Not too interesting in my opinion. Open the damn door please. I guess... If it's locked, why not, why not you try to um, kick it or something? Open in that way. Oh shit, oh. <laughs> all of them. All of them got attracted to the noise and then all of them are coming over here now. Gotta go down that ladder. Where is it? Don't wanna be trapped in the room. Do not wanna be trapped in the room with a bunch of zombies. Good idea to close the door behind me. Just gonna go down this. I guess they're called fire escape. Fire escape ladder. So when you're injured, they just press. Not bad. Not bad. Gotta press one to four to use these items. Oh man. I need so basically, that. he just drinks that energy drink or something. Then he heals his health. That green bar is his health. The compass down there is telling you the where to complete the main objective. So you don't really have a stamina bar or anything like that. You just have a health bar. Come on. It was a little different from Dead Rising. Oh, not Dead Rising. Is it Dead Rising? Oh, no, Dead Island. Damn. Dead Rising is another zombie. It's kind of similar to Dead. Island, but they're not really. You can see some similarities. So, if they go to the trailer park, find Warren's uncle, just follow the little compass thing down there on the bottom left. Let's go ahead and sneak by these. Don't want to attract all their attention. Unless they somehow sniff me. Then they can find my presence. So you can melee attack. Hit them with the rifle butt. I don't know why you can't like drop kick them or something. That would be more interesting. Maybe it's too comical. <laughs> it's too comical for this game, maybe. But I think that would be interesting. If we're able to drop kick. Should be around here somewhere. So you could just melee them from the front and then go around them to the back and then just stab them one time. It doesn't even have to be exactly in the back. Let's see where it is. About to push. It's around right here. Here it is. Push this car out of the way. Hope you still got that. Just grab That's these it. Big thanks. ammunition. I get my ass out of here. All these zombies show up also. Just avoid them if you can. I want to use up all my bullets. So they still follow me even though the noise is heard from over there. 
So I guess they do have some type of, I don't know, thermal vision or something. Zombies with thermal vision. Get gas for your vehicle, activate the generator. So no, I go. No, 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 don't use that key yet. Come here first. What? What do you want? Hey, you got it? Yep. Alright, good. Alright. Skip that. Let's open this gate. Activate the generator. Hey! You got it, Ryan! I don't know why. It's that rack is drawing him in! Okay. I don't know why um, refilling your gas cans is only for this level. Because later on, you don't really need to do that. You could just find gas cans already filled up. I think they should have done it. The way they did it on this stage, I think it would have been more interesting. Where you actually have to go to the gas stations and fill them up. Oh shit. Did that guy get killed or something? Where the hell did he go? That bastard ran away. This is where it gets tricky right here when there's a lot of them. Shit. One bullet left. Oh, I was trying trying to go for a double right there. Nice try. After the first one to grab you and then you can actually push them back. We don't want the second one to grab you. Because uh, if all of them are hacker close to you, then they're going to just keep grabbing you. And then it's non-stop. But you can actually interrupt that by pushing them back. 